This is Nick with LogosByNick.com, and in this tutorial I'll be demonstrating how you can create a simple app icon design for both the iOS and Android operating systems. I'll be going over some general design guidelines that have been laid out by both platforms, as well as all of the different sizes and formats, so that by the end of this tutorial you will have a finished app icon that is ready for submission to the app stores. So to get us started here in Illustrator, let's create a new document. We'll come over here to where it says File, click on New. And I want to size this document at 1024 by 1024 pixels. And the reason why is because of all the different sizes that we're going to have to generate for our app icon, this is the largest size. So it makes logical sense to design the logo at its largest size so that it can be scaled down when rendering all of the other sizes. So I'll go ahead and click OK. And let's just set up the workflow over here. I'm going to come up here to where it says View. Make sure you have Smart Guides enabled. If you have anything else enabled over here, just go ahead and disable that. Smart Guides should be the only thing enabled for this tutorial here. And up here where it says Window, we're going to want Control, Align, Color, and Pathfinder. And that's these menus over here. So to get us started here, let me zoom out a little bit. I'm going to hold Alt and roll down the mouse wheel. So to get us started here, this white artboard represents our app icon. So what I want to do is fill this in with something, whether it be a color or a gradient or a pattern or whatever else you'd like. For this tutorial, I'm going to use a simple gradient. So let me grab the squares and rectangles tool, which is over here. And I'm going to bring the cursor to the top left corner and snap it into that corner there and just click and drag to create the rectangle and then just snap it down to this bottom right corner over here like that. Now, this object is a, has a white fill with a black stroke, as indicated over here. I want to get rid of that black stroke or that black outline. So I'm going to click on this stroke selector right here, and I'm going to click this little red slash to get rid of it. And then I'll select the fill color again. And now I want to open up the gradient menu. So if you don't have the gradient menu open up on your screen, just come over here to where it says Window and look for Gradient. I have mine open in this tab right here, so I'm just going to go ahead and open that. I'm going to click on this to give that a gradient. And I want to change the, the white and the black over here, the white to black. I want to make this a blue gradient. So let me double click this over here, this white stop. And let me make this RGB. And I'll make this like a darker shade of blue like that. Something like that looks pretty good. And I'll come over here. I'll make this a lighter shade of blue. So let me set this to RGB. That's looking pretty good. And now I just want to change the orientation of this gradient. So I'm going to grab the gradient tool, which is over here. And let me just rotate this gradient around. I'm going to bring the cursor just outside until I see the, uh, the cursor turn into a rotation cursor and just rotate this around. I'm going to hold shift so it locks it onto 15 degree increments. Let me just place this down here like that. Position this as needed. I'm going to extend this all the way to the top left corner. And here we have our subtle gradient. So let me go back to the select tool. This right here is going to represent the background of our app icon. Now I know when you see app icons on your phone, they have rounded corners. So you would naturally think that when you're designing your app icon, you have to give it rounded corners. However, that's not what you're supposed to do. You're supposed to submit your icon with squared sharp corners like this, and then either Apple or Android, whatever operating system is being used, they will apply a rounded corner mask on their end to the app icon design. So we do not need to create rounded corners for this design. We're going to use, we're going to use regular sharp corners like this. So the next step now, now that we have the background of the app icon, the next step is to place our focal point in here. Now for this, you can use whatever you'd like. For this tutorial, I'll just be using a simple logo design that I have from a, a past project. So I'm going to come up here to where it says File. I'm going to go to Place. W logo right there. That's what I'm looking for. I'm going to place that on the canvas like that. Let me just bring this over towards the center of the page. And I just want to center this up on the page. I'm going to use the Align menu where it says Align to. Make sure you have it set it to Align to Artboard. And I'll just center it up on the vertical and horizontal axis like that. And now I want to scale this down so that it fits inside of the background. So to do that, I'm going to grab this little bottom right corner over here. I'm just going to click and drag, and you'll notice it's scaling down. Now if I hold Shift and Alt, it will lock the proportions and force it to scale from the center like that. And I want to place this right about there. Right about there is looking pretty good, maybe a little bit bigger. Now when you're placing your focal point in the center of the background here, you want to make sure that you leave sufficient padding around the edges. You don't want to extend this too far to the edges, otherwise your design may be rejected by the App Store. So make sure you have it placed nice in the nicely in the center with some padding around the edges. 
And if you don't have, if you're following along with this tutorial, you don't have like an icon or a logo to use like what I'm using here. You can just use a letter or whatever else. So uh, this right here is usable as an app icon. I want to add a little more design to this. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to add a little bit of a long shadow here. So to do that, first of all, I'm going to right click this and no, I'm, I'm going to go to edit, copy, and then go to edit, paste in place. And I'm going to take that copy. Let me come back over here to the color panel. And I want to make this copy black. And now, then I want to make another copy of this. Hold Shift and Alt. And then just drag this down off to the bottom right of the screen. Drag this down diagonally like that. So that we have this copy down here. Completely out of range of the artboard here. So let me hold Shift. Click on both of those so I have both of them selected. And I'll go to Object. Blend. Blend Options. And for the spacing, I'm going to choose Specify Distance. I'm going to use zero and click OK. And there you go. And then go to Object, Blend, Make. And there we go. Now we have our long shadow in place there. So let me grab the Select tool, click off of that to deselect everything. I want to take just this long shadow now and layer it beneath the white logo. So I'm going to hold Control and press the left bracket key, and that's going to lower that one step. And now I just want to bring down the opacity of this a bit so that it, it, it looks a little more subtle. So let me come up here to where it says Opacity. Let me bring that down. See how that looks. Maybe a little more. And that's looking pretty good right there. Okay, so right there, the app icon design is finished. Okay, so what I want to do now is, first of all, I want to save this as, a, as an editable file, which would be the .ai format. And then I want to export this in all of the different sizes that you would need for an app icon. So uh, well, before we do that, I just want to point out, you may notice this is sticking out here. Don't worry about this. The only thing that's going to be exported is this red, I mean, this blue square right here. So this will be excluded on the export. So the first thing I want to do is just save this. Just go to File, Save As, and choose um, choose a folder to save it in because you're going to want an editable vector copy of this in case you want to change it down the line. And once you've saved it, now it's time to export it in all of the different sizes we need for the app icon. So I'm going to come over here to where it says File. We'll go to Export and go to Export for Screens. And this menu is going to allow you to designate where, number one, what the where the files will be generated, number two, what the name of the files will be, and then number three, the types and sizes of formats, uh, the, the formats and the sizes you're going to need. So I'm going to change the name of this from Artboard 1. I want to change the name of this to Icon, just like that, because this is an app icon. And this, the location, I'm just going to choose a location on my hard drive where I'd like to generate these files. Here we go. I'm going to put it in this folder titled App Icons. I'm going to choose Select Folder. And now what I want to do is over here we have a list of scales. Now if you have any scales listed here, just go ahead and click the X next to them to delete them until you just have one left like what I have here. And what we want to do is create a new scale for each of the different sizes that we're going to need for our app icon. Now when it comes to Android, they only require one size, which is 512 by 512. But Apple, on the other hand, they require a variety of different sizes. And I will have a list of these in the description of the video if you'd like to uh, reference them. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to add a scale for each of these different sizes here. So for the first one, the smallest size is 40 by 40 pixels. So where it says scale, let me click on this drop down. I'm going to click on width and I want to change this to 40. And for the suffix, I want to, this, the suffix is just a, an, an addition to the name. It adds it adds something to the name. So I want to add 40 to the name of this icon. So this icon will be exported as icon 40 and then the format will be .png which is required for the app stores. So we have that in place now. Let's go ahead and add another scale. Do the same thing. Change this to width. The next size is 58, 58 pixels. I'm going to name this 58 and again PNG. Same thing for the next one. Choose width. The next size is 60, name this 60, PNG, and you get the idea. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to go through quickly and add all of these different scales, and then I will catch up with you when I'm done. Okay, so these are all of the sizes for the, the iOS platform. If you want to use this, this icon for, for Android as well, just add another scale and then make this 512 because that's the only one size required for the Android operating system. So I'm just going to change this to 112. I mean 512. And there we go. We have all of the different sizes we need. And once you have that all arranged, you can just go ahead and click Export Artboard. 
And if you go now and open up your folder, let me see if I can grab my folder over here. And if I open this up, there we go. There's the app icons folder. Here is all of my different app icons. And like I mentioned earlier, these may have square corners, but once they're uploaded, the it's going to be they're going to add a rounded corner mask on their end to make it so that all of the app icons on the home screen are uniform with each other. So uh, that is how you can go about arranging to create uh, an app icon design using Adobe Illustrator. If you have any questions, leave a comment below. And as always, thanks for watching.